Greetings and welcome back Olympia Faithful as we take on the New Mexico Lobos today in the House of the Gods and you may notice the stadium looks a little different. Uh, we had some sneaky mid-season uh, renovation that allowed our stadium to look more um, appropriate for our type of team and today we take on a team with a very good rush offense and for us we've actually been decent defending the run so we'll see if we can do well against this team. And off we go here in the House of the Gods. Brett Kraft will take this one out from the end zone. He's at the 10 yard line, the 15, the 20. Shrugs off a tackle and makes it to the 27 yard line before finally being brought down. Out comes Tyler Hunt, and he will have to lead this offense as it is official. Darius McIntyre will be out for the season 100%. We'll see if he can even make it back by next season. A deep throw on first down here. We find Zeke Roberts, who's at the 20 and brought down by his face mask at the 15. And just like that, one play from Tyler Hunt reminding us of the type of quarterback he is. That'll get us down inside the 10-yard line on second down and goal. Now, it looks like Tyler making some adjustments. Remember, he is a senior. He knows the offense. A lot of adjustments being made here. Tyler running out of time. Going to go ahead and snap it. And he finds Lee House across the middle on a slant route. And that'll be Olympia's seven points to start the game. And just like that, we have an early lead. Olympia does come in the number six team in the nation, which may be an overrating by some uh, analysts. And I might even be inclined to agree, but we are top seven, and we will really hope to make sure and solidify that with a win over New Mexico. Second down here is Greg Gray gets a first down. Now first down and 10 at the 40-yard line. Man in motion, New Mexico runs a lot, and that is pretty much all they do. Jamal Ferguson getting stopped short by Robert Humphrey, and now it's second down and 13. Looks like it's going to be a triple option here in Hampton. This is well read again by Robert Humphrey. Two back-to-back -back tackles for loss. Now third down and 17. New Mexico is forced to do something they don't do well, which is throw the ball. And instead, they're going to go ahead and run a little draw play to Greg Gray. And that's not going to get anywhere close to a little first down. And Olympia will come back and get the ball. First down and 10. Now looks like Tyler's going to find Ben Thompson on the stop route. And stop. Ben Thompson will get down to about the 50-yard line. That'll be a 17-yard catch. And now first and 10. Looks like Lee House is in motion. Tyler going to drop back, throw this one to Lee. Lee cutting inside, and he does get brought down. Nice tackle in space there from the cornerback, as he'll only pick up four yards. Second down and 13 now. We're in that pistol ace set. Second down and 13 again now for this Olympia offense. Tyler making a ton of adjustments. I can't hear everything that he's saying, but... So he's going to go ahead and check this down to Kirk Doherty at the end of it, and that'll be a three-yard catch, and that leaves us with a third down and long. Third down and 10 now at the 46-yard line. Tyler dropping back. Looks like he doesn't quite have Deion Hurd open. He throws it short anyway, and that'll be an interception. Really poor throw from Tyler Hunt there, although to be fair, not a lot open for him on third down there as we will turn the ball over. So our defense is doing its job, and our offense has been boomer bust so far. Going to be a pitch out on first down as Cody Calloway will have to come over and make a big tackle on the speed option. Now first down and 10 at the 45 for New Mexico. Man in motion here, and we're going to see a little triple option in action. And Tim Hampton is again brought down in the backfield. This time that is Bradley Garrett with the tackle for loss. Taking down in 14 now, going to go ahead and hand it off to Greg Gray, who bowls over Bradley Garrett. You don't see that too often, and Cody Calloway again having to make a tackle in Bradley's sector. Now third down and 10 past the 50-yard line. Tim Hampton having to throw the ball here. They had a screen set up, and he didn't elect to take it, and that'll be a sack for six yards. Curtis Simpson picking up yet another sack on a stellar season for the young linebacker. First and 10 here is we're going to hand it off to Kirk Doherty, and Kirk Doherty on the pistol train will get about five yards. Now we get now second down and five. Third down and two. Got to keep the drive moving here. Tyler dropping back, throwing this one to Kosi Minta on an angle route. And Kosi did get hit by his face mask there, and they're going to be no flags. First and ten. Pitch out through Kirk Doherty as Kirk throws it back across the field to Cameron Anderson. Cameron spinning, double spinning. And he'll pick up seven yards off the uh, spin moves there as we will end the first quarter 
Up 7-0, a turnover for us, but defense playing very stellar against their run offense so far. See if we can keep it up coming up in the second quarter. And here we are in the second quarter. Now third down and two situation at the 25-yard line. Tyler going to drop back and throw this one to Dion Hurd, who spins inside and will be brought down after a yard or so after. But that spin move was nice from the senior wide receiver. First down and 10 now. Looks like we're going to go ahead and see some adjustments yet again as Tyler Hunt's dropping back, throwing this one deep. And he had Dion Hurd, and I think Dion Hurd just lost the battle there one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. Dion gets out physical, and that one wasn't the worst pass I've seen from Tyler. First and 10 after the interception, and Tim Hampton now has an open lane on the option. He's going to break one tackle and run for an extra five yards there, as that'll be about a 16-yard run after it's all said and done. Now first down and 10 at the 40-yard line. New Mexico in the hurry-up. We haven't seen them in the hurry-up a lot today because they've been getting a lot of negative plays. And on first down, that'll be another one as Tim Hampton is brought down short of the line of scrimmage by Bradley Garrett. And that'll make this now third down and 16. Hampton dropping back, and he'll get sacked by Curtis Simpson. That's Simpson's second sack of the game already, and Olympia will get the ball again. First and 10 here for Olympia. Looks like Zeke is splitting out wide. He is such a mismatch for those cornerbacks. Dropping back, Tyler. He's going to sit and throw this one deep to Zeke. And that is thrown way under the, the wide receiver's route there as that'll be another interception. And that is three interceptions on the game so far for Tyler Hunt. Not a great showing so far. It's now first down and 15. Brown is going to stiff arm his way down for an extra 10 yards. That's Jeremy Brown. One of his first rushes of the day. Now second down and five. Looks like it's a man in motion. That's Tyler. And we're going to see just a traditional speed option there. It'll be a four-yard loss as, again, Tim Hampton does not get much going. And Brett Kraft coming up with that tackle. Third down and nine. Looks like dual back in the set. It's going to be a screen pass here. Patterson, break. No, actually, yeah. Patterson gets his tackle broken. And Greg Gray gets down to an inches line at the 30-yard line. And after a false start, New Mexico will go elect to go ahead and kick the ball. This is about a 48-yarder. Snap is down. Perez kicks it. And that doinks off the crossbar there as Olympia will continue to have a 7-point lead and the shutout. Tyler Hunt now on third down and 14. We'll find Corey Cross on the post route. Corey with at least a 25-yard. That's going to go down as about a 28-yard reception. And now we have first down across opponent territory. Tyler throwing this one out to Zeke Roberts on the flag. He's got him. Zeke at the 10, the 5, brought down at the 2-yard line. And that'll be first down and goal with 2 minutes remaining in the half. Tyler hands it off. Kirk Doherty, touchdown. And Olympia now has a 2-score lead on the Lobos offense. First and 10 at midfield for the Lobos. Really great starting position after a good kick return there. As it looks like Greg Gray is going to be the target out of the backfield here. And that's going to be an 8-yard pitch and catch. Now second down and 2. Hampton with one back in the backfield. Going to throw this one on a check down in this flat to his tight end there. That's William Jefferson for a seven-yard catch. That'll give them a new set of downs. First and 10 for Tim Hampton. Throwing a screen pass here. And Kevin Patterson this time makes the tackle. That'll be a loss of five yards. Second down and 15 now. Hampton, one back in the backfield. Going to throw this one. And Brett Kraft jumps the route. That was a terrible decision to throw. And not a good throw on top of it is Brett Kraft... Really had coverage all the way. Now it's third down and 10 for Olympia with 20 seconds remaining in the half. Not sure we have time for this motioning as Tyler Hunt is making a ton of adjustments. Going to drop back on this one. Throws it deep to Lee House who catches it on the crossing pattern. And that's a 13-yard catch and gives us first and 10 at about midfield. Maybe enough time to get in field goal range here. I go ahead and snap the ball. Tyler throwing this one out to Zeke Roberts on a flag. He'll pick up 12 yards, and that'll be another first down. As with five seconds, we'll go ahead and hand it off up the middle here. Kosi picking up a lot of yardage there, and that'll give us a nice chip shot field goal to end the half. Mike Harris is perfect on the season. Can he continue? It snap is down, straight down the middle. That is good. And Olympia goes in the half with a 17-0 lead. Not an amazing game from our offense, but our defense came to play. Third down and two to start the second half here. Tim Hampton, two backs into the gun. He's going to go ahead and take this one on a read option. And Brett Kraft barely catches his feet before he can run for an end zone there. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Hampton, it's another read option. He's looking really good so far this drive as Cody Calloway comes over and makes the tackle out of bounds. 
And that'll, that'll be first and 10 for Tim Hampton. Hampton dropping back, floating this one out for Brown. I'm not sure how that didn't get intercepted. That's going to be a 17-yard catch and another first down. Now third down and three. Hampton, read option. Well read by Olympia. We swarm to the ball there as Bradley Garrett picks up another tackle for loss. And New Mexico finally is on the board with three points. But with five minutes remaining in the third quarter, Olympia looks to continue their dominance to, today. Kraft down at the 50-yard line after a nice return there. That'll give us first down and 10, now second and 13 at the 50. Throw out to Lee House here as he'll pick up 10 yards. That makes it third down and three. And now we're looking to just get a few yards here for a first down. Throw out to Kirk Dirty on the check down, and he's got it on the swing route. That's four yards and a first down. The chains move. First and 10, mints on motion. It's going to be a handoff to Kirk Dirty. Dirty up the middle, cuts it back inside for a nice few extra yards. And Dirty continues to look like a great running back. Third down and five. Looks like Hunt making some adjustments. Going to throw this one out to Ben Thompson on the out route, and that'll be a first down as Thompson gets six yards for his second catch of the day. First and ten here. Looks like Zeke getting split out wide once again. It is a mismatch. Throwing this one instead, Dion Hurd, who comes up with the ball, shielding his body really well there. First and ten. Going to be a handoff to Kirk Doherty. He cuts it inside, breaks a tackle, and he's down ten yards. That's a new set of downs, and more importantly, first and goal. Eight yard line now in the pistol. One back, gonna throw this one across the middle to Corey Cross and the ball crosses the plane. No pun intended as we score our second touchdown through the air today. And now Olympia back on defense. Greg Gray running this one. Wow, really great running from him as he'll be brought down. Oh, that's Lonnie Brown actually. He'll be brought down at the 45 yard line of Olympia. And now on the play action roll you don't see this often from New Mexico. And there's a reason why you don't. Brett Kraft, just perfect man coverage. He's been draping wide receivers today as he comes up with the pick. And actually, that's going to be a new record for interceptions in a season. Five interceptions for Brett Kraft. And now handoff to Kirk Doherty on first down and 10. He'll pick up six yards, and that'll give us second down and four with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Really, at this point, you're looking to score and then maybe start putting in the backups as we're going to see a little read option here from Tyler Hunt. He'll pick up about 10 yards on the, run, the run there, and while I don't like to see it, he looked okay doing it. First and 10 now, play action dropping back, and Tyler Hunt gets sacked for a loss of six there. Protection fell apart. Now third down and 14. Dropping back. Tyler is going to find Ben Thompson a lot of ground gain there, but still four yards short of a first down, as you will see Olympia go for it with 10 seconds left in the quarter. It's a throw out to Dion Hurd, and we've got a first down as Olympia once again moves the chains. And at this point, we're looking to go ahead and start pounding the rock. Hand off to Kirk Doherty on first down. He's got 10. He's got 15, 20 before getting brought down. Almost 25 yards in the run as that'll end the third quarter with a bang. And we are looking to threaten to go up 28 points over the New Mexico Lobos. This is really going well defensively, and I think offensively we're starting to pick it up under backup quarterback Tyler Hunt. We'll see if we can keep the pressure on in the fourth quarter. And here we are in the fourth quarter. In scoring range at the 15-yard line in the red zone. Throw to Kosi Minza on the check down here. Kosi juking back inside, and he'll pick up 10 yards. A lot of yardage after the catch there, as now it's first down and goal from the five-yard line. Hunt dropping back. Going to throw this one to Dion Hurd. Dion pushing his way into the end zone. And that's going to be a 28 point lead and three touchdown passes for Tyler Hunt, who, other than those interceptions, has looked phenomenal. Third down and 10 for New Mexico's offense here as Hampton going to throw this one deep. And that almost got picked off. Both Byron Handy and Bradley Garrett had their hands on that ball and just couldn't come down with it. Second and 11 here for Kosi Mensa and the Olympia offenses. He'll get the call, run for about nine yards, and make it third down and two at the 45-yard line. Mensa in motion now. It's going to be a handoff to Kirk Dirty, and Kirk does get stopped short of the first down, and they'll actually mark him inches short, and that'll keep out the offense there. Fourth and inches, a run to Kosi Mensa on a fullback ISO. He picks up enough yardage for a first down, and with five minutes remaining in the game, I think you're going to see a lot more running before this thing's said and done. Counter play here to Kirk Doherty. Kirk cutting it back up inside, running over a tackler there as he picks up six yards. Kirk Doherty continuing to impress with the, the runs. 
Third down and nine now. Lee House in motion. Watch out for the screen. It is going to be a screen. And Lee House, he's going to push his way forward for a first down, just using that burst of speed to give us a new set of downs. And with two minutes remaining in the game, this might be it. Third and 13, we're going to pass for a first down here as actually Tyler Hunt's going to get rocked, and that's going to be a fumble lost. Mexico will come up with it, but that will still be the end of the game as we come away with the win. And Brett Kraft, a well-deserved player of the game, thank you so much for watching. That's how you hold a running offense in check. We'll see if we can continue this next week against Coastal Carolina and the undefeated season hopefully continues. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.